All right, welcome back. So, uh, last time we completed the mountain that fell and we learned that uh, the Eclipse are gonna try to take the Spire uh, over by Meridian and use it, or Hades is going to use it to wake up ancient machines and destroy the world because, you know, that's it's programming and it's become a free agent so uh, the Eclipse is preparing to do that we are preparing to stop them um, Aloy really kind of wants to go and talk to Avad but uh, you know we really need to do some preparation first that's our excuse for doing the rest of the game before we complete the end boss Yay! Okay. So let's get out of this area. I have to tell Avad that the Eclipse are ready yes, to strike. Yes, we know. After what happened with Derval, I know he'll defend the city. With the ah, spire. right, right. Okay, so now that we're out of the mountain, let's figure out what we want to do next. Well, you know what? Since we got that power cell, let's go... Let's go back to... Okay. Yeah, we want this on. I think it's that location. Yeah, so we're gonna go back to the place where we started, where we got our focus, because uh, there's something important that we need to retrieve there. Well, there's a couple things that we want to retrieve, retrieve there. Um, yeah, you'll see. Oh, we got Sobek Journal. We'll just kind of, I think, well, you know what? Now, I'm going to read the Sobek Journals right before we uh, do the end boss. If I remember to. I'm going to make note of it. Yep, here we go. Sobek Journals before end boss. Okay. Alright, so. Um, what we want to do... Okay, this is the wrong location. Because what we really want is this first. Okay. This is Mother's Watch, yeah. Just outside of Mother's Watch. I'll find a use for you. For sure. This old place. I haven't been here in years. Wonder what I can find. Well,
this is the exit. Ooh. Let's see, I can't remember where the stuff I'm looking for is. So we're just gonna kinda look through here. Okay, so let's go through here. Okay, can't get through there. We can pry that door open. But before we do that... These are all data points that we got before. Should have brought a cart. I guess we can just. Uh, did that not use wire? Well, I'm dumb. Okay, let's see. I'm wondering. Yeah, no, okay, never mind. Anyway... Moving on... Am I going back? That area no. back there... I wonder if I can find a way into it now that I'm older. Huh. A fifth power cell. They must fit somewhere. There's data point number one. All good things. Let's see. From Director Evan. To all staff, I regret to inform you that our worst fears have been realized. The Wichita salient has collapsed and our position will be overrun in less than 24 hours. As I'm sure you understand, exfiltration transport is not available. If you wish to abandon the facility and try your luck on foot, you may do so. Lock 2 will unseal at 2100 hours and remain unsealed for 15 minutes. Godspeed. For those of us who'd rather not die on our feet, there will be a gathering in the community room at 2200 hours. And Nurse Chana will make other means available. I want to underscore how proud I am of each and every person who served at this post. It is important to bear in mind that our sacrifices were not in vain. I hope that makes this a little easier. For months now, I've been signing off messages as Director Evans. But, I suppose we can dispense with such formalities now. Respectfully, Ellen. I mean, that's definitely a hologram pad, but I guess there's no 
data point associated with it. Anyway, let's get out of here. Oh, wait a second. Such strange artifacts. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, now we can go get out of here. So we pass the dead body. Go up. we have that last power cell we are going to complete ancient armory uh, let's see you're down soon enough It. I wonder what's down here. This is in a cave. It's a room. like a holographic interface these devices are missing power cells I'll have to find power cells to get these to work there fits I just need to slot in one more that's two it's some kind of code maybe there's a cleaner I think the old ones use numbers like this to indicate time right 12, 15, 18, 21, 12, 15. Maybe there's some more information nearby. Something that will tell me how this looks like each dial has four positions. Maybe if I get each dial in the right position. But we've already done this so many times. I don't know why she's... They really wanted to make sure you know how to get into this ancient armory. Well, I mean, other than the fact that you have to find all of the power cells, and the first time that I played this game, that took forever. 12, 8, 12, 15, 18, 21. Did it. Now to check the door. Those clamps have the armor locked in place. Maybe there's a way to power up the mechanism, release the clamps. Okay. Really? All right. Wait, this is like the last one. Let's look at the other one first. There we go. Okay. Ultra wave progress from Major Garo 
to General Aaron Harris. We know him, huh? Subject Ultra Weave Progress. General, you wanted fast, cheap, and good. And that's what we're going to deliver. By using a flexible nano weave fiber instead of plating, and enhancing protection with 400 EV hard light micro projector, uh, we've reduced our testing cycle from weeks to days, and I'm confident we can get the suit out by next month with enough production to cover dozens of elite units at least. Better yet, it will be half the weight, half the cost, and offer twice the mobility. All we need is the balance of our funding, a few more techs, and another experienced test subject. I know resources are stretched to the breaking point, but any more delays will jeopardize the schedule, so please advise ASAP. May God be with you and Jane in these dark times. Semper Fi, Major Garo. <sighs> Ultra Weave, Mark 7.1 Trials, October 65. Trial, uh, Ballistic Test 91, Trapple, Trapple Test 87. Laser test 88, shield integrity 86, impact torso 51, impact arms 62, impact legs 43. Notes. Weave is not tightened properly on local impact tests. We need to optimize existing sensors or add more. Um, new numbers. Sensor optimization successful, but torso protection is still lagging. Recommend increasing weave density. Impact, oh yeah, legs are terrible on this one. Notes, getting there on weave density and detection of components, but an integration error left to the left knee tank. But an integration error on the left knee tanked the impact test, ouch. Subject isn't gonna be able to walk that one off. Surgery required. Anyway. Yes, okay. No room. All right. Just need to install these power cells. That should do it. Only two more. Just one more. There we go. The last one. All powered up. These numbers. They must be related to segments of a circle. Okay, 90. I can never remember. It's like the first time I remember, I thought, okay, zero degrees is pointing straight right. But I. I want to say, turn it 90 degrees from up, I think is what it means. I can always offset them all by the by equal amounts until I get it. 270, um, yeah, so that would be that, 360 up again. 450 is 90 degrees beyond that. Assuming that my baseline is correct. Did it. Let's have a look at that armor inside. All right, now let's see what we can do with this material. Treasure boxes. It's been a while since.
I always feel like I have to explain why I don't take everything out of these bags. I've done it before, but just to remind anyone, um, the reason I don't take everything out of these bags, or boxes, treasure chests, whatever, is because it's free storage space. Like, that's 11 more... So if I fill up my inventory with wire, that's 11 more wire. So... I have no real reason to take it out. Alright. Trophy earned. Got the Shield Weaver outfit. That's a creative trophy name. Okay. So. Yes. Uh, outfit. Shield Weaver. Awesome. Can I just fast travel out of this place? Uh, what is it? Oh, yeah. Okay. Anyway, so what do I want to do next? Let's look at the, uh, list of quests that I have. Weapons of the Lodge in foreign lands. Yeah, I'm thinking I might do that one. Maybe. Uh, that as well. Also have corrupted zones. Bunch of stuff. Let's see, where am I at? Okay, let's do... Let's just pick something relatively fast. That's not relatively fast. Let's do a corrupted zone. How about that? Ah, this corrupted zone. Okay. So yeah, let's try this out. In normal mode, uh, the shield weaver plus the spear was basically enough to make one feel nearly invincible. I, I took on these corrupted rock breakers with just my melee weapon without too much difficulty. But this is hard mode, not normal mode. Let's see how this goes. Okay, that's not that's not gonna that's not gonna go nearly as well. Yeah, that, that's a problem. That's a problem.
Okay. way too much damage to risk a melee fight with him. the second one. I feel like I'm only really seeing one at the moment. go. That one is dead. Maybe that'll get it to come closer. There we go.
Mm -hmm. Is there anything? So, um, I discovered that my preconceived notions about metal burn and corruption arrows were wrong. Um, I remember I tried them once really early on, probably just with my basic bow, and decided, yeah, these don't really work that well. You have to hit, with a, hit them with a lot of arrows, but, you know, if you have a lot of mods, then they, they can be quite effective, as it turns out. Let's see, actually... So I have the spear weapon. Oh, right, I can't modify that yet. Let's look at this. Get my triple shot. That'll be good. Um. something right okay anyway um let's see i think i'm gonna pull up on all of those uh crafting carry capacity if i got a fish bone then i could increase my potion pouch size that would be good um, and there's an excellent place to do that. The excellent place to do that is at a lake that is nearby to this errand. So I think I'm just going to do that next time. Yep. All right. So next time we're going to do this, we're going to get ourselves, get ourselves a uh, fishbone, increase potion pouch size, that'll be good, and uh, figure out what to do from there. Alright, until next time, bye. Hey, so I, I just barely finished... I just barely finished with editing down. episode 41 when I realized, you know what? There are two rock breakers here and I only killed one of them. I mean, killed. I only looted one of the ones that I killed. So... Yeah, there we go. Let's just uh, take care of that just in case Can't care I wind up closing the game. Don't want to lose this. Oh, rock picker heart. Yeah, see. Okay. Let's see. Resources.
have a lot of echo shells actually. Do I have a warbo? I do not have a warbo. Okay, I'm gonna need to get a get a warbo. All right. Well, anyway, I'll put that down on my list of things to do. Anyway, uh, I guess see you later for real this time. Bye. Or not, as it actually turns out, because once again, I totally forgot half the point of why I went back into the game, which was to grab the resources that I almost forgot, like the metal burn. I, I've got so used to just totally ignoring the metal burn that I, okay, it is actually pretty useful, so, um, I'm just going to... Let's see. Water lenses. Our diamond dozen. A bunch of that. Now we got it. Okay. Now for real, for real, for real this time. Adios. See you later. Bye.